everyone, so this is another one of my party looks for this year's um, Christmas season. And this one is entirely drugstore or a, like supermarket or inexpensive makeup. So it should be easily accessible for anyone who wants to get their hands on them or, um, you know, just to go to show that you can do really nice looks as well without having to spend an arm and a leg on high-end brands because, believe it or not, I own way more drugstore makeup than I do high-end brand makeup and I just love it and I spend so much time in the drugstore buying makeup and appreciating what they have to offer. So this is what it is and what I forgot to mention as well in the video is my nail varnishes drugstore as well and I really think it's class. It's actually two different um, colours. Yeah, it's a L'Oreal Resist and Shine Titanium in the colour 735 and then I have this limited edition Barry M um, Silver Glitter nail varnish over it um, it's one of the nail effects ones that they do but it's so class I really like how it turned out and it would be perfect to go with any kind of party makeup so yeah that's pretty much it watch on to see how I did this and hope you enjoy the tutorial so I'm going to start off with a bit of a primer um, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Studio Secrets one because it is definitely a drugstore brand here anyhow. And I'm just going to put that around my T-zone. So this is something that I nearly always use for night time, especially if I know it will be a late one. Because, um, you know, if there is going to be a bit of dancing going on, this really helps with that shine that can happen. Especially if it's going to be a long night and you might get a bit oily. So once that's on, now I have like a good few favourite drugstore um, foundations at the moment and that I'm all using at the same time but I'm just going to use up the last of my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation and then straight after this I'm going to make my video on my favourite drugstore foundations because um, there are just a lot of them that I think are fantastic out there now so I'm just going to apply this with a Gemma Kid foundation brush which I also got in our boots here in Galway but I got it about two years ago so I'm not sure or maybe even three years ago so I'm not really sure if they still stock it in any of the boots, but it's just your basic dual fiber brush. So I have the foundation on, but I may have to go back and touch it up a wee bit um, after the eyes, depending on if there's any fallout. For under eye concealer, I'm going to use my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. Now, the only thing I don't like about this in any way, and that's very little, is the packaging. Um, all the writing completely wears off within like a week or so, which is a bummer but it doesn't compromise the quality of the actual product itself. I think it's a really, really good product. Um, quality definitely contends with any higher end concealer I've ever used. It does not crease at all under the eye. It has really good coverage as in it's quite high in pigment. So I nearly always use an eye primer when I'm applying, um, when I am applying eyeshadows or whatever. I don't have any drugstore eye primer at the moment. Now the Soap and Glory brand have, with their makeup they have an eye primer which I wanted to get and I just haven't gotten around to get, uh, using it yet. So what I'm going to use is this um, Vivo Ultimate Base Concealer Kit. It's this guy here. Perfect to use as you know a base for eyeshadow as well. It also comes with this eye brightener so you can use this as a highlighter say underneath your brow bone and stuff. But I'm just going to apply a little bit of the yellow based concealer just to my eyelids. So this will knock out any redness on my lids and it'll act as a base for my eyeshadow. So the Vivo kits are available in Tesco's as far as I know. I'm going to get a bit of that illuminator now that comes with the Vivo kit and just pop it there underneath the brow arch. So it's going on top of my brow bone. It's a very sheer highlighter, so it's going to be perfect for cheeks and stuff like that as well. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that there on the inner corners as well. So this is definitely going to be a smoky eye look. Um, I'm not really sure exactly how it'll turn out, but we'll see towards the end. I definitely want to use a dark base though for my eyeshadow, so I'm going to use this um, Molten Metal Duo by Sleek. I'm going to use the um, dark side here, which is the ash colour. I'm just going to use my finger and apply that over the moving part of the lid. So I think I'll use bourgeois eyeshadows for this um, for this tutorial as well. I really like some of the bourgeois eyeshadows. I think they can be really nicely um, pigmented and stuff like that. Although there are the odd few ones from them as well that I don't like. But I really love this one. Um, I've used it a lot lately. It's their Pop um, Ombre à Papier number eight eyeshadow, which is just a really beautiful kind of pearl colored highlighter. 
and I'll pop a little bit of that there into the inner corner. Oh, I'm also going to use a few other bourgeois eyeshadows that I picked up. Now I picked up colours that I don't wouldn't always go for. So this is a um, kind of an emerald green colour. I tend not to go for very cool greens like this, um, like really jewel greens. But it's just, it's a really beautiful colour. So I think it'll come out nice. Now I also got this kind of grey, uh, like a blue grey green. I don't know, it's hard to explain colour. It's just number six of the intense um, eyeshadows. So I might incorporate that as well. And then I got this number one intense, which is their matte black. And I've been using this a lot lately, so I really like that. So I'm just going to apply those onto the main part of my lid. So of course, I'll name all the products that I used on my blog. There'll be a link to that below for anyone who's interested. And these go on, these really do go on very intense. That's the reason I got them. And Boots um, so often do three for two deals that you can, you know, get it for a lot cheaper than what it is when you, if you do want to get a couple of them together or three of them together. So I'm really happy with how that's going on. It's really, really nice. It's a real kind of peacock green. And then I'm going to get a little bit of that number six. That uh, green one is number five, by the way. I'm going to get a little bit of that other more, I don't know, it's a hard colour to describe. It's like a tealy grey, green, blue, I don't know. I'm going to apply that there to the outer corner. And just go back and forth in the crease and blend that out. So I didn't put much colour on it because I didn't want to, you know, add too much. I wanted more to just blend out. They really are beautiful jewel tones and it has a beautiful kind of sparkle to it if you can see there at all. I have another eyeshadow um, kind of palette here by Bourjois and I'm going to use this lighter, um, this light kind of goldy green shade just to help blend out the crease area there. Then for my waterline I'm going to use this Max Factor Cold Pen Pencil in black. Um, it came with a gift set that I got. One of the Christmas gift sets set out. If you spend like 20, more than 22 or 23 euro on Max Factor products, you get it. So there's really good gift sets like that at the moment with a lot of those brands in boots. So definitely check them out if you get a chance. I'm just going to use that to do my top and bottom water lines. I'm also going to run that along the actual lash line. Just to give that a little bit more definition. And I'm going to run it along the lower lashes a little bit as well and then just use my finger to smudge it into the lash line. So I'm just going to go back into that little bourgeois palette. It's called the Eye Pearls palette, um, number 63 sublimation. And I'm going to put some of that uh, warm green just there into the inner corner around the tear duct area underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back into my green intense colour by Bourjois and put that underneath the rest of the lower lash line. Okay, so to finish off the eyeshadow I'm going to go into my matte black and then first I'm just going to apply that underneath the outer end of my lower lash line. I'm just going to run my blending brush just there along the lower lash line as well. I'm just going to get a little bit more of that warm green again and pull it a little bit onto the top eyelid just a wee bit and then go into my black again and just press that there onto the outer corner and use that to really darken the outer crease and the outer V. Just make sure you blend it really well because it is quite an intense black so you don't want it to be too harsh. So with the eyeshadow all fixed, it's time to add a good mascara. Make sure you use something really dramatic. So one of my holy grail mascaras, it always has been, is the Masterpiece Max Max Factor. And I, I've i owned about four or five of these throughout the years, but I haven't owned one in so long because I've been trying out so many other um, mascaras. And then I got it in that gift set that I was on about a wee bit earlier on. So I'm so delighted to have this back again and I'm definitely going to buy another full size one soon. Um, it just does it all. This lengthens and separates and defines. I just love it. I'm going to do the bottom lashes as well. Just 
really make it extra smoky. Cool, so that's it for the eyes. I really like how those colours look now. So they're the bourgeois colours. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use um, this Vivo eyebrow kit. Same crowd to do the concealer kit I was using there a second ago. So again, these are available in Tesco's. This comes with three different eyeshadows and um, like an eyebrow gel, which is really handy. Now the only thing is I hate the brush it comes from, so I won't be using that, I'll just use my own brush. Um, but this is a Ruby and Millie eye brush, which you can get in Boots as well. I'm gonna apply the lighter color just through the body of my brows, because I don't want them to be too dark. And then I'll put one of the darker colors then through the tail, just to give a bit more shape. For anyone wondering about really good, um, drugstore or pharmacy eyebrow pencils. I've always loved the Rimmel ones. They do it in like hazel and then light brown and dark brown or something like that. Um, or it could just be hazel and dark brown but I've had those particular ones for years. They come with a little brush as well on the cap and I just think they're really really good. So once I have the eyes done I can go back in now and clean up um, my foundation again. So I'm just going to run over my face again with the same foundation brush, just with a teeny bit of foundation on it to more so just like collect any dirt. Um, but if you have a lot of fallout, just wipe it away first and then you can go over it with the foundation brush again. I definitely need a wee bit more of that concealer underneath my eyes. Okay, so that's the eyes completely done and most of my face touched up. I still need to co conceal any blemishes that I have, which are well plentiful at the moment. So I'm going to use my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. Um, I'm absolutely adoring this at the moment. It comes with two shades. So I'm going to use the yellow shade over here um, to counteract any redness or any blemishes I have. And it just pretty much disappears into my skin tone. So it's perfect if you're fair like me. I use, I use the shade Light. It's the palest one. So it would suit like NC15s, maybe up to NC20. And then just to set everything in place, I'm going to use this Essence brush, which is cheap and cheery. And I'm going to use the translucent powder that comes with my concealers. Um, get a little bit of that onto the brush and then just press it first over my blemishes and then lightly over the rest of my face. For highlight, I'm going to go back to that Bourjois number no. 8 um, eyeshadow and put a little bit there along the top of my cheekbones. What I like about this is that it's kind of subtle, it's not in your face, so um, it's not at all gaudy or too obvious. For blusher, I picked up this collection um, 2000 Shimmer Shades and I really like it because it has like four different colour blushers which you could use um, singularly or you can just mash them all together. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that, but maybe not go so much into the dark one. So I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and bring it up there to the top of my ear. If you want to add a little bit of warmth to your face, um, there's two bronzers I use quite a lot at the moment. One is a Prestige one, which is a big one, which I show quite often. And then I picked up this Bourjois one, which I really think is class. It's the um, Delice de Soleil, this one here. And it's in the colour um, olive tanned skin. So what I think is so cool about this is you lift it up and there's a mirror and you can turn it around um, for whatever reason. I don't know, but it's handy if you just want to sit it on a table and do your makeup. That's going to be really, really nifty. And it comes with a brush if you need it. But I'm just going to use the same brush I was using the Essence one. Just apply that underneath my blusher and just along the temples and the sides of my face. And then of course, because my neck is so pale, I need to bring it down onto my neck and chest area a little bit. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna use a really light pink lipstick, I think, um, to start off with, just to try this out. This is a Rimmel color. It's a creme lipstick by Rimmel in 415 pink in the afternoon. I just applied it direct from the bullet. I'm just going to use a brush then to fix the outline. My lips are really dry at the moment from the braces, so I'm just not, I don't really want to wear a lip liner. Yeah, so that's pretty much the look. My hair's still a bit damp from washing it, so I'm not going to do too much with it at the moment, but um, it's just a real kind of fun party look. You've got 
um, intense eyes, really nice jewel colours, so they'd be perfect for um, the Christmas season. And um, that's pretty much it. So uh, I just wanted to remind everyone about the King of the Web thing I'm running for and thank everyone so much who has been voting for me so far. I'm not going to blab on about it too much now, but I'll just let you know how I'm getting on. So as of now, um, I'm in eighth place overall, which is amazing. And I'm first place in the style and beauty um, section, which is the only thing I'm really hoping to win now at the moment because I'll get a $500 gift card if I win that and I'm going to immediately give that back to you in a giveaway. So it'd be really nice to see that happening and um, yeah, all your votes will help that happen if you keep voting for me. So I'll link to the information on that below and you can check it out there. So hope you like this guys. Thanks a million for watching and I'll chat to you all really soon. Son.